Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good night. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. For all trade, we'll use uh, uh, five percent money management rules and apply stop loss in all trades. This video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. All right. The title of this video is a guide to improving FS trading. Step one. All right. Guide to improving. FS trading step one. All right, we are looking at uh, the euro dollar currency pair. I'm on a 30 minute charts. All right, and uh, the first thing that uh, a day trader that is trading the FS uh, must pay attention to is the market pattern. All right, so this week uh, the euro start going up. All right, somewhere here you can see uh, start going up, but uh, then uh, okay, the situation in Greece. All right, the uncertainty regarding uh, okay. Uh, the situation between uh, Greece, the Greek government and uh, the ECB uh, has put uh, a dump on the bullish uh, sentiment uh, relating to the euro dollar and the price is consolidating between uh, the level of 11444 and the level of 11287 as you can see the price you see it was uh, oscillating all right so it went up to the level of 114 yeah and then come back down near the level of, uh, you see here, the zone of 11287. Went back up, okay, to the level of 11444. And then come back down a little bit, okay, not too much. But again, return to the level of 11444. Now again, it push it back down uh, in the zone of, uh, okay, 11287. When there is an uh, uncertainty, when there is a doubt, okay, when uh, the market uh, is not very sure which way to go, the price will consolidate, all right? This is normal. When we are expecting a high-impact economy news, okay, the, the price can consolidate, all right? If uh, there is, um, uh, okay, some uh, major economy news uh, that is playing on the mind of the market players, we may have, okay, a consolidation market pattern. When the, the price is acknowledging a key levels also, we may see a consolidation. A common day trading mistake is to violate the market pattern, all right? So as I've, I have been uh, telling traders a 2-4 earlier way YouTube channel, because you can see here I have too many lines. This is uh, earlier wave count. Now my wave count has been cancelled, so because we counted five waves up here, and then we have a flat correction, all right? But then uh, we see uh, this kind of consolidation taking place. But today you can see the price came back to the starting point of my wave count. So in this scenario, we will restart uh, counting area wave. I will be posting another video at uh, 2 4 area wave YouTube channel, and I will be talking about how I validate my area wave count like a pro part four. All right, I have to post those videos. I posted uh, uh, part one already. I have to post, post also uh, part two, part three, and I will be recording the part four today. And all this video will go to two four area wave YouTube channel. But talking about guide to okay improving uh, FS trading step one, here we are. I'm looking for opportunity to buy the euro dollar currency pair. Just play with the market pattern because we have a balanced market pattern. Traders are selling in the zone of one one four four four, and they are buying in the zone of one one two eight seven. Does it mean that the price cannot go below the level of one one two eight seven? It can. How do we handle it? Okay, how do we handle it? That's a good question. Yes or no? So, there's there is a trader can trade in a diff, in many ways. One can go straight away and buy here like this. Okay, which is a bit risky. So I can go now and buy the view where it is now at 11287. It's a, a risky trade. In that case, um, I will use a very tiny stop loss, like 20 pip maximum, 20 pip. So it's a risky trade. Then I, if they take me out, I will not complain about it. I will not call my mother, all right, as I like to put it to you. I will not call my mother because I know that I just go 
and buy without any okay confirmation all right another way one can play this all right is uh, i can go now to the three minute charts okay where we are now and then i want to monitor if the price is finding a support you see here it drop it down to the zone of uh, now it's at one one two eight six in the zone of one one two eight seven yes or no so here what i'm trying to do now because i see the bigger picture already okay you remember the video that we posted this weekend all right for us uh, trading the euro dollar 2015 at Trio channel okay because i know where we are we want to give priority to bullish signal above the level of 11200 but only only if the price is in a rising channel all right remember and also we will not violate the market pattern all right so here we are so now on the three minute chart i don't see any bullish pattern in this zone all right i don't see any bullish pattern and uh let me remove this line by the way okay i don't see any bullish pattern i can start drawing lines here on my three minute chart to see uh, just zoom into it to see what's happening here right, i'll choose uh, this low here to make it parallel to the first one so I have uh, this declining channel here, okay? So on my entry time frame, if I'm using three minute chart as my entry time frame, uh, what is the market pattern? It's a declining market pattern, all right? So I can say to myself, okay, if I'm so desperate to enter the train, all right? I can take the risk to enter now, all right? If it work, it work. But the only thing that I'm a bit too early, if I buy now, which is not wrong because I'm playing with the market pattern. I can decide to buy straight away here. It's a risky trade. I can say, all right, I'll give you 20 minutes, 20 pips, stop loss. All right, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, okay? But if, I, if I'm a bit conservative, I don't want to lose as such, okay? Or if I don't want to regret my decision, all right, to buy straight away, all right? So I will try to improve my, uh, okay, entry. What am I looking for? I want to buy. I want to buy at the support level. Even on my entry point, though on the 50 minute chart, the price at the support level, the level of 11287, is the lower part of the consolidation. But now I'm looking to enter the trade. But I don't want to violate the market pattern because the market pattern on the on the this uh, three minute chart is uh, a declining chart. So in this scenario, you see how it is now. The, you see the price went down to this support level here. It went back up, come back to the same support level. You see the orange line that I draw here? Find a bit of support, but crash through that support level. So, looking also at my, uh, uh, you see the blue declining channel, all right? I would prefer, if I want to get into this train, I would prefer to buy here. So, normally, why? Why am I, I would prefer to buy here? Because the risk will be lower for me. It will be lower risk for me to enter here. And if I enter here, all right, I can place my stop loss below this low here on the lower part of the consolidation. There is a support here on this 3 minute chart where I place my uh, orange line here. If you want to give you that level, okay, it's at uh, okay, 11305. Okay, let me adjust my line a bit. Okay, so 11305 in that zone, zone. 11305 in that zone okay that's where the orange line is and also if the price if the price in a declining channel okay and the bearish momentum is very strong the price will be riding the lower part of the declining channel this session you see these two parts are divided in two so this is the media line i'll call my media line into green that's the media line of my blue channel if the bearish momentum is very strong, the price will be in the lower part of uh, the declining channel, which means below the green line. So that's why if I want to enter this trade now, I will prefer it to go above okay, the media line of my blue channel, which will be also above this uh, orange support level. But as I explained to you, I can go now and buy now here which is a bit risky, all right? Bit risky. But I can be also patient 
and allow the price to come here, and I will buy. All right? But right now, as you can see on my 3-minute chart, the market pattern is not bullish. But if I want to buy, so if somebody who does know, who is a very, very conservative day trader, he will, if that trader will not even buy here. He or she will say, okay, let it come out of uh, the declining channel. Let it retest either the top of the channel or the media line of the channel, something like that. And then if he start coming back out right here, he or she will buy here. Or the price retest the top, find the support, he or she would like to buy here. Either he come down to retest the media line and go back up above it, he or she will buy here. There's somebody who hate to lose, very conservative day trader, trading the FS, FS stand for foreign exchange, all right? So this is, uh, okay, guide to improving, okay, FS trading, step one, when one is trading, all right, a balanced market, an horizontal market pattern, okay, without, uh, okay, violating the market pattern on the setup time frame. Here I'm using, okay, the 15 minute chart, okay, which is, okay, quite a lower time frame. Right, but because we know that we want to give priority to bullish signal above the level of 11200, that's what I'm using now, 15 minute charts, okay, as my setup time frame, all right? And from the, because the prior, the market pattern is a consolidation taking place here, all right? I will go now, we can, in fact, because I can't see all my drawing, I want to change my time frame to 30 minutes just so I can see all my uh, uh, area wave drawing on my chart, all right? So there's a consolidation, yes or no, okay? Right, we are we are here okay now I'm using three minute chart all right <laughs> to ask my entry point zoom into the price to see if there is opportunity to buy whether the bearish momentum is diminishing the bearish momentum we also if you see there was this low this low here which are equal lows if the price goes back above the previous low it means that the bearish momentum is diminishing all right, so that's why myself, talking about my trading style, I will be patient and buy here, all right, instead of right now here. But as I told you now, I can buy here, but it's a risky trade, all right? And I, in that case, I will use a very tiny stop loss. The risk is low. I mean, if it were beautifully here, the risk reward, uh, uh, the reward will be high because you're taking a bigger risk but if you work, you get to get you're going to get a bigger reward. But I don't want to risk it now. I would prefer to to buy here. Go back. The price goes back above the previous low in a downtrend above. Okay, the declining channel because it's a bit risky because I'm buying inside a declining channel. But I want to buy at a support level. It's still risky here. The best place is above the channel, as I explained to you already. This is a guide to improving, all right, for us uh, trading, step one. So I also, I also say to traders that, uh, okay, professional always prepare themselves for two things. A financial instrument can go up or down. So all I have said so far is just about buying. So let's prepare ourselves for selling also, okay? This time, I'll go back again to my 30-minute chart because I can't see all my drawing on 50-minute chart. That's why I'm going to the 30-minute chart to see everything. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring down my uh, RSI. Okay, in fact, because I want to draw a line below here, so I don't have enough room to draw it on the 30-minute chart. I'll go to the two-hour chart and see whether I can draw a line. Uh, I don't have, yes, I can draw a line on the two-hour oh. Okay, let's go to the four-hour chart, okay? I just want to draw a line, okay? But I need room to draw a line, okay? I can push my chart a bit up. All right, all right, all right. What I'm saying is because the price is consolidating this session here, we are the lower part, preparing ourselves for the second scenario, which means price continuing to go down, what do we need to do? This is the first channel here, all right, you see? The blue channel, the bigger blue channel here. All right, we will project it. If the price is fail to find the support here, we will project it to the downside equal sign. This is about market geometry, multi-talented trading. 
all right we apply one strategy we don't forget everything else all right put it down here okay and then i will draw a line there to make it parallel this will allow me also to set a target in case the price continue to go down if it come out of the second channel game on i'll project it again to the downside but i'll leave it as it is now and i also draw the media line of uh, my second channel why am I doing this? I just want to know where are the hot spot trading zone, where professional uh, will make their decisions. That's all. So this is the media line of my projected channel. See now? All right. So if you fail to find a support here, the next support is at the 11227. If that one fail, we come to the lower end, which is at 11158. I doubt it that you go to 11158. I doubt it that you come here today. All right. But remember the situation in Greece. The Greek government was asking for bailout money, the extension of the bailout okay, conditions. They are asking for more money. The German government, okay, which is normal, asked the Greek government to adhere to the austerity measure because somebody is giving you money. They want to make sure that they're going to get their money back. So the German government said, nine, you are not. Nine mean uh, no, all right. In German, they said, you cannot have, okay, the, 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 the bailout money without adhering to austerity measures. Austerity measures mean restrictive measures to control uh, the spending of the Greek government. So, uh, these are just something. So, somebody has to give something back. But the Greek government, the new Greek government, has promised their people that if they get into power, they will not comply to the austerity measure that is putting too much pressure on ordinary Greek people because a lot of people are suffering, people have uh, committed suicide, and the conditions are very tough for Greek people, honestly, very, very tough, all right? So, socially, people are not happy because uh, they are suffering, okay? So the current government wants to make sure that people are not suffering as much as they do. So the, the middle line, that's what we are talking about. So what should happen now? Common sense, okay? The Greek government should say, okay, we don't want to comply to all the measures. These are the, one, the conditions we can, uh, we, can, uh, com we can accept. And the German government will say, all right, okay, we give you the money, okay? You have a little bit of freedom, but still you have to comply to the austerity measures. And we will see what's going to happen. So, because of that uncertainty, that's why this week uh, we are expecting the euro to go above the level of 11444. Remember what we said before the economy news, the market sentiment, the market environment will change the dynamics of the economy news. As we can count it, as we have counted five wave plus a flat correction, the economy news has put okay the dump into our wave count we have to restart continue our wave because our wave first wave has been cancelled violation of uh, earlier wave principle we will restart uh, counting our earlier wave if the private fund support here game on all right so you see now so do not prepare yourself for okay a bullish signal alone prepare yourself for both because the, the financial asset can go up or down Okay, so we've got uh, the projected channel here. If I want to buy, I want to buy the support level. If I want to sell, I want to sell our resistance level. So if it D below, okay, the level of uh, 11287, be careful, be careful, all right? Because if you look on your left hand side, there are support here. You see this zone here? Be careful, all right? It can be messy, all right? It's not easy place. Myself, I won't even attempt to sell it like this, okay? Unless you are already selling it here, you are already in this trade, Okay, all right, it's up to you, manage it, okay? So break below, retest, and find a resistance. Go to the, your entry time frame, break below, retest, and then switch to your entry time frame and uh, try to enter on the edge if you want to sell. It's going down, first support, 11227. If that one fell, break below, retest. Next one, 11158. I doubt that you will reach the level of 11158 unless the Greek situation okay is becoming okay very very messy all right so keep your eyes on the situation greece okay check uh, google finance check uh, forex factory okay check videos at bloomberg all right the financial time you will hear you will know on twitter you there will be a lot of article or search twitter or even search youtube you will see a lot of uh, okay videos about uh, 
the situation in Greece right now, why, uh, okay, the ECB and uh, the Greek, the, the current Greek government, okay, are not happy with each other. They start talking last time, and the discussion lasted only four hours. So he, this is serious things. Uh, playing on the leading currency pair, which will affect uh, other currency pair that are positively correlated to the okay, euro dollar currency pair. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of this video about uh, all right, guide to improving FS trading. Step one, trading the euro dollar currency pair without violating the current uh, okay, balance market pattern. We have seen the balanced market pattern on the 15 minute chart, the price on the lower end of the channel. We go to the three minute chart looking for a low risk entry point. We can decide to buy straight away as some trader did now. You can see the price are bouncing up. But you see, I would prefer to buy above the media line of my blue channel on the three minute chart because I don't want to find the, the bearish market pattern. I want to buy above. But the best place above this declining channel on the three minute chart. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, do not trust, okay? Do not take my word for it. If you are trading, make your own decision on the edge without violating the market pattern. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Happy weekend to you all. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about a guide to improving FS trading. Step one.